All right, so I'm here with Joshua Penrose at the fort, and you've got your kind of secret layer set up here. Absolutely. And, uh, and you just finished this incredible project here behind us, and you had kind of a, like a note, and we followed uh, secret signs, button wall this way, and uh, here we are. We, we wound up uh, walking in on this awesome presentation, and you are installing this tomorrow, so it's like the last time it's in town here, but right. tell us what we're looking at here. So this is an 18 foot by nine foot interactive wall made of arcade buttons. Each arcade button's got a shield behind it with um, RGB LEDs, and we're just shooting video through all of them. Um, but each button is also, you can press it, and it affects the animations on the, on the wall. We should at least get it out of the way until we get into the crazy technical stuff, but where is this going? It's going into like an office building? It's going to the, as a permanent installation in the lobby of uh, Circa 730. It's a yeah, suite of offices in Midtown Atlanta. And so you're gonna, you've got it installed here kind of temporarily, and you're going to pack this all up tomorrow, drive it down to Atlanta, yes. install it. Um, let's, let's take a look at the back because you were showing us this earlier, but sure. this, what it was impressive to me, and I said this a couple of times since we've been here, but it's the scale of all this. I mean, people, people kind of do like an led pixel thing. Um, and you've even got kind of the prototype of that kind of stuff here. And you've got a bunch of stuff around here that's like right. that, but the scale of this, you were saying it was 35, 28, 3,528, 3, uh, individual like basically pixels right? and each one of those buttons. And you've got, I mean, the anyone that's into like sort of a, uh, electrical engineering or whatever, they're gonna be just going crazy about this stuff because I mean, it is impressive. You've got all these breakout boards. Go over basically how it works. You already kind of explained this, yeah. but. So I guess it's the easiest to think of as two separate systems. There's the video system and then there's like the button sensing system. So the video system, uh, is comprises of a little LED shield that's the size of the back of each button and uh, it goes right up to the back of the translucent button. It's got two RGB LEDs on it and then they're all kind of daisy chained together with these multicolored cables. Um, they also go through these power injectors. There's like eight power injectors per panel so nine times eight is there's 72 power injectors. Um, and that's just so that we can get enough juice to the LEDs without them uh, browning out. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, there's the, the button sensing system. There's 72 of these um, uh, button boards here. And it's basically just like a Arduino Mega chip there, an Atmel chip that can read 49 buttons. And then there's a little CAN controller, which is a, an IC that they use in a lot of uh, car electronics now to... to send a lot of data over a long distance mm -hmm. um, and they all talk to each other and then send one final serial stream of which addresses have been pressed into our software that we wrote. So what is the brain? You said this earlier, but what actually is like the, there's only one board mm -hmm. or something that's running all of this, right? Yeah. So then there's one, if we go over here, uh, sorry, we're a little cramped. Uh, yeah. That's the part of the fun. This is your layer. All of the video aggregates, uh, or I should say, it's all pushed out into this whole matrix through one, we're using a Teensy 3.2. Okay. That little guy right there. So you've got this Teensy, and then basically these are custom megas, the right. Arduinos. Right, um, with, with the CAN controllers. And, and I've got those all, here. All this stuff, I know you had this set over here. Let's go check this out. He's got basically the custom printed circuit boards that you've done. Right. So the, the, these are like, that's like the CAN controller, that's the CAN transceiver, and they all kind of, each button board connects to its neighbor through these low ethernet cable, uh, ethernet jacks. And then there's the mega that reads all seven by seven, all 49 of the button presses. And then each board, we also can give it an address mm -hmm. so that it knows, you know, which board it's coming from. Um, and then what were, the, what were the other boards you've got here? So these are just some of the power injectors. Okay. Um, we've got two, two varieties of power injectors. Um, and then this is kind of what the, the LED shield looks like. And you said earlier there's, there's something that was existing before that's like this, but you sort of improved the design so that it's a little bit more efficient. 
Yeah, well, the shield, we, we found um, the only shield that we could find being sold on the market was um, like this, but um, it treated each pixel as separate pixels in the chain. If okay. anybody out there is working with these, they understand that that you basically send this whole chain an array and it just picks its address out and then sends the array forward. Sure. So it treats them as two instead of as one. And and by ordering them at scale and making them ourselves, we were able to save a considerable amount of money. Yeah, I mean, you. I was saying this earlier, but like you've got, and you had some people help you, but I mean, you're talking about basically an assembly line operation to basically create each one of these pixels and then each board and you're sort of thinking about them that way and then they're wherever they lie in the whole uh, matrix of it. I kind of feel like we should uh, go out front and see the different animations and you, you kind of hinted at the interactivity, which we don't have at this moment because you're, show, you're sort of showing video. Right, this is just a video state. We just missed it, but this was like the beginning of, it says, their, it says their company logo and then we've got this video playing and then you've got this, we say like three minute animation cycle. Mm -hmm and then all the different interactivity. Uh, you told me what these buttons were before, but what, what exactly are these buttons? They're Sanwa buttons. Just like sort of standard arcade buttons. Well, it's, it's like a, it's a Japanese company um, and it's a, different, it's a different way. So the, the buttons I started, make, I started playing with back in the day were like the long kind of buttons that sure. has a micro switch on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a micro switch inside the, the body of the button. Mm -hmm. Much more compact. And yeah. I notice there's not like an actual, I mean, there's plastic on plastic, but there's no real click to that micro switch. Right. And, and I think the reason Sanwa makes them that way is so that you can, it's like a faster response time. Sure. Yeah, I know people, I'm not get, pretty an serious. people yeah. get pretty serious <laughs> yeah. about that kind of stuff. Uh, tell me about, again, about this material that we see on, on top. It's black plastic. Yep. And uh, tell me what that is again. Uh, it's, called the, it's called HDPE, high density polyethylene plastic. Um, this particular kind is called HDPE Lite, and it's got like a foam version of itself in between a sandwich of like the regular HDPE. I think you were, you were zooming in on this, Zach. Normally, that is like a, like a, it's very heavy. I mean, a big yeah. sheet of this is a couple hundred pounds. Yeah, a four by eight sheet, a four by eight sheet at half inch, I think was like 80 pounds. Okay. And the HDPE Lite, I think was, they said like 55 or 60. So we lost a lot of weight, yeah. which I think is good. Oh, I know. And, and at the scale you're talking about. So yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting here where you can actually interact with it. I love this stuff. Right. And I was saying earlier, it's kind of funny, but like <laughs> those buttons up there, you could press them, but <laughs> yeah, you just can't get to them. Well, when we were negotiating the design and the scale of the wall, um, you know, we kept going back and forth with the client about how many buttons he wanted and how many we could fit into the space. Sure. And um, I really kind of wanted to be denser. And yeah, we're, we're basically losing a whole lot of buttons up top that we can't hit. Right. Um, but there's also a density issue where like we can't have them too close together or we can't run our electronics behind it. Right. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of like a TV. It's, I mean, it's built in, in some ways. It's like a, a TV, but each pixel can be pressed. Right. I know that you had mentioned uh, this could be something that you would be willing to do again. And, and you know, if someone was out there and sees this in Atlanta or hears, catches wind, sees a video, whatever, you're thinking, yeah, we'd love to do this again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it doesn't have to just be buttons. Uh, it, could be, it could be anything. I, I really kind of wanted to, to I, I think my next version, if it were up to me, I would do kind of like, a, Sort of like a Soviet style nuclear control panel station with like all rocker toggles. Yeah, okay. Uh, or something like that. But just using these buttons, yeah, it could be, we, we could do any kind of uh, configuration. Yeah, and I know you mentioned uh, there's a lot more interactivity too. So we were, we were joking that you could do Pong, but sure. you, know, there, you know, Minesweeper or something, there, you could do all kinds of things where there's like actual games where pushing the buttons you know, accomplishes something, mm -hmm. but you know, in this, uh, whatever corporate, uh, office, it doesn't really make sense for this project, but it's more of a yeah. environmental kind of yeah. showpiece. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff that can be done with this. Definitely. All right. Well, thanks a lot for, for taking the time and telling us about this. And it's a really cool project. Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Man. Thanks. Tom.